listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. Today is also the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua. Now, St. Anthony is a very important saint and famous, especially if you have lost something. If you have ever lost something and said the prayer, St. Anthony, St. Anthony, please come around. Something is lost that cannot be found without your help. Then you are praying to today's saint. So a little bit about St. Anthony. He actually was not born in Italy, even though we remember him living there. He was born in Portugal, specifically in the city of Lisbon. He was very devout. He gave his life to Jesus, took the name Anthony as a friar, And during this time, there were relics of Franciscan friars who had given their lives as martyrs in Morocco. Now, St. Anthony lived in the 1200s, and during this time, the Ottoman Empire, which was an Islamic empire and had a very fierce army, was out conquering huge parts of the world. And so the Franciscans were out amongst these people trying to teach them about Jesus. And many of them lost their life in this situation, specifically in North Africa. St. Anthony was so filled with faith and joy to go and join them in the mission fields that he left home. He went to North Africa, but very quickly he became super duper sick and had to leave. He tried to get back to Portugal, but a terrible storm hit the ship that he was traveling in and he was shipwrecked in Italy. While he was there, he just happened to be present for a huge gathering of Franciscan and Dominican preachers. In fact, he lived so long ago that St. Francis, the founder of the Franciscans, was still alive. So St. Anthony was there. At this huge gathering, however, it turned out that no one had prepared a homily. So they were all gathered for mass and they were thinking, oh no, who is going to preach? And so St. Anthony was there. No one even knew him, but sort of through happenstance, he was asked to preach. He stood and he gave the most incredible homily that anyone there had ever heard. And the reason why St. Anthony was able to preach so well is because he had a photographic memory. It means if he read something, he memorized it. And the book that he really loved to read the most was the Bible. So while he was preaching, he was able to recall whole passages of the Bible, stories in detail from the Old Testament, and this served him very well as a preacher. So after that fantastic homily, he was asked to go out and preach. And that is what he did. And he fought heresies. In fact, he was called the hammer of the heretics. And heretic is someone that is spreading false teaching, simply because he was such a good preacher. And people would listen to him and crowds would gather and their hearts would be changed. Now, there are two important stories about St. Anthony that I really love. The first one is while he is preaching. So in most villages, when he was preaching around in Italy, people would gather and hang on his every word and afterwards ask to go to confession with him, receive the sacraments and be welcomed back into the church. However, in some villages, their hearts were hard and they did not welcome St. Anthony. In fact, they threw him out, refused to listen to him. But St. Anthony was so filled with the love of Jesus Christ and this desire to share the good news that on one occasion, when people threw him out of the village and refused to listen, he walked a little way out of the village and he came upon a river and he saw fish busy swimming and jumping in the water. And he just had this desire to speak of Jesus Christ. So as legend tells it, he sat on the banks of that river and preached to the fish. On another occasion, one of the most famous stories of St. Anthony is the reason why we ask his intercession when we have lost something. So St. Anthony had a book called a breviary. Now a breviary is, we also call it the liturgy of the hours. 
all priests and most religious have a set of prayers that they pray every single day. They pray at multiple times of day. It is focused on the Psalms, a beautiful prayer of the church. So St. Anthony had a copy of this, a book. Back in the 1200s, books were incredibly rare and super precious and so expensive because they had to be written by hand because there was no printing press at the time. So St. Anthony had this book, he cherished it, but there was another friar there who stole it from him. He stole this book and then he actually left the Franciscans and he took the book with him knowing that it was so precious and he could sell it for a lot of money. Well, St. Anthony was upset, but instead he just prayed. He prayed diligently for over 15 years, prayed that this book would be returned to him. And after 15 years, the thief had a reversion. He came back to the Franciscan friars. He re-entered religious life and he returned this precious book to St. Anthony. So he got his book back 15 years later. And that is why we pray through his intercession when we lose things. Now, Sprouts, we are going to continue to talk about the Sacred Heart of Jesus tomorrow, but I know we forgot to pray at the beginning of this episode, so as a challenge, why don't you join me in the Holy Spirit prayer that we are learning as part of the Be a Saint Kids Club this month. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you so much for joining us this week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast as we discuss the Sacred Heart of Jesus. A big congratulations to all of the families out there that will be making this consecration to Jesus and His Sacred Heart on the feast this coming Friday. If you're just hearing about this for the first time, we do have a 33-day preparation for consecration to Jesus and His Sacred Heart. We have copies left in a digital copy as well. It is a good time, any time, to make this consecration. So if you would like to do that, please check the notes for this podcast episode. Get your copy, start preparing, and give your family to Jesus and His heart. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.